Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley Cherise here. Small disclaimer first, before I start the video, if you see that I'm in the same clothes as my last video or a previous video, it's because I'm filming this video the same exact day because I'm just in the mood to film videos, so I'm just going to keep filming them so I can have videos out for you guys. So this video is going to be my unpopular opinions and this is just regular unpopular opinions. This is not any type of special edition. But yeah, let's get into the video. My first unpopular opinion is that not every name brand shoe is cute, okay? And what I mean by that is those Balenciagas, I will have pictures on the screen. Those Balenciagas that people think are cute, they're not. They're, they're not. And if these were Skechers that looked like this, you would not be wearing them. Literally, people only wear a shoe because it has a special brand name on it like if these are regular shoes they would be ugly and it's just it just they're ugly and it's like people wear them try to say that their style drip when people say it's drip like no it's not drip these shoes are ugly it's drip because it says balenciaga on it no these shoes are ugly okay like i would never just wear something just because it has a brand name on it never and also Birkin bags. In my opinion, Birkin bags are not cute bags. In my opinion, they're ugly bags. They're only cute bags because what? They're called Birkin bags and they cost like a hundred thousand dollars. That's why everybody hypes them up. Like these are bags are not really cute. Like if this bag said if this bag had some whack name on it, like Sears or Kmart and the bag says like Kmart on it people would not think these bags were cute literally just because it says Balenciaga everybody's like ah, ah, ah. like no Chanel and Louis Vuitton are the real luxury brands that actually sell real 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 cute stuff like Chanel those bags would be cute regardless of if they have the Chanel logo on it or not and the Louis Vuitton bags are cute whether they say Louis Vuitton on it or not because those items are really cute but this and this are not cute my next unpopular opinion is Crocs are cute and they've been cute since before these past like this past like year or two years Crocs have been cute and like what makes me so upset with the whole Crocs frenzy is the fact that people used to get made fun of in school, in elementary school and middle school for wearing Crocs. And now all of a sudden they're back in style. Like, come on. In my opinion, Crocs have been cute. I used to wear Crocs. They were cute and they've been cute. But now all of a sudden, since they're back in style, now they're cute and people won't get made fun of for them anymore. And it's just like, come on like ugh. and this is my next unpopular opinion gucci makes cute stuff but i cannot rock with it like i don't know if this is going to be my opinion for forever but as of right now and as of like the last like year or two i cannot rock with gucci because everybody knows of the little scandal that they had where they created that blackface turtleneck I cannot rock with them. I don't know if I'll ever be able to rock with them again, but their stuff is cute. Like, especially these sandals right here that they have out now, these are real cute and their stuff is really cute, but I just cannot rock with them because I don't deal with the racist stuff. Like, I just don't rock with you after you do stuff like that. Can't get with you no more. So yeah, Gucci makes cute stuff, but I don't rock with them. And no, Gucci is not canceled to me. It's just, I can't afford Gucci right now anyways. But I'm just saying in the future. But more than likely, I'll buy from them in the future. This is like just how I feel right now. When I can't even afford it. So what the heck do it really matter? <laughs> Whether I think that I like them or not. But I have to put this clip in. I'm about to put this picture right here. Of Like I went to go search up the... um gucci blackface turtleneck sweater thing and this 
picture popped up of Beyonce with this black face coat on and I'm not the hugest fan of Beyonce so I could really care less about what people think but like what is this sweater and why would she even wear it and I know she's not dumb she's not oblivious she's not stupid she knew what the sweater was I don't care if you're black why would you even want to wear anything like that and that's just my opinion on that and that's it my next unpopular opinion is that Chick-fil-a is not that good and the Popeye sandwich is Garbino like first of all I had Chick-fil-a for the first time a week ago and Chick-fil-a was good but like people hype it up like it's like literally the best sandwich they ever had in their life and it was not that great like the McDonald's buttermilk chicken sandwich in my opinion was better than that Chick-fil-a sandwich that I had last week and for the Popeye's chicken sandwich that chicken sandwich is garbage okay like I have literally had I had the spicy one and I had the classic one and they are both garbage like I did not like neither sandwich garbage and then people try to say like the chicken tastes like the same chicken that you eat when you just ask for like a breast a thigh and a leg it is not it did to me it does not taste the same that Popeye's chicken sandwich is disgusting okay disgusting I like people lost their lives over this sandwich over a sandwich that's not even that good like come on you guys really hyped this sandwich up. And I know this is mad old, but I'm talking about it again, and I don't care. My next unpopular opinion is that most of today's music is garbage. And when I say that, I'm talking about not the actual songs themselves. Because, like, people make good beats nowadays and stuff like that. But the actual words and what people are actually talking about is complete garbage. And guess I'm about to get on everybody's head about the Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion song, a song that I have not listened to, but I've heard little snippets here and there on TikTok and Instagram, Twitter. I've heard little snippets. I've seen little video clips. And yes, song completely garbage. Garbage. Can I just say this? If the song was not Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B, and it was some rando girl rapper, like two random girl rappers, the song would not be a hit. They're not talking about anything of substance. Like today's generation really needs to get their head on straight. Like I'm not hating on Megan Thee Stallion and her successes because that's great. Like props to her, but the song is nothing. Like this is what this is what today's kids have to look not even look up to because I honestly feel like nobody should look up to celebrities unless. They're living for God and doing the right thing. And talking about stuff of substance and stuff that is really important that people need to hear nowadays. Not stuff that is just completely inappropriate. And like you're singing about that for what? Like I honestly just feel like the song is just so stupid. <sighs> but some artists that I do like, this is not an unpopular opinion, but some artists that I do like. I like singers. I just feel like you just have to like have substance and actually be talking about something with your music. And then if not, can the song not be just completely inappropriate? Like the entire song is just inappropriate. Like nothing about it can even really be played out loud because the whole song is just inappropriate. My next unpopular opinion is that Forever 21 is a whack store. Forever 21 used to be the place to go for clothes back in like a few years ago but now Forever 21 like their clothes like no. I feel like online shopping is the way to go nowadays or like just not Forever 21. Forever 21 is just not the store anymore like you go in there you can't find anything like what you can find in forever 21 is just regular basics like the tank tops or the sweatpants the sweat shorts like you can also go in there for like little accessories but like if you're trying to really go shop forever 21 is not the store my next unpopular opinion and this is something that i talked about in my chinese food mood bang that was like all the way back in like july but my next unpopular opinion is that black lives matter even when it comes to gang violence slash black on black crime. 
this is something that I feel so passionately about because yesterday I saw on the news that they said over the weekend, which is only two to three days the weekend if you count Friday. So yes, well two days. Okay, so over the course of two days, over 50, there were over 50 shootings in New York City. Wow. 50, over 50 people died over the course of two days in New York City. That is a lot of people. Like, and it's like, this is my thing. It's like, what are they dying for? Like, what are they dying for? What exactly are you killing each other for? For drugs, for money, jealousy. It's like, what are we dying for? Like, Martin Luther King did not do what he did. Our ancestors did not go through slavery for us to just get to where we are now. And I'm not saying like, we came a long way. Obviously, we have a very long way to go. But they did not do all of that, all of what they did, just for us to kill each other. Like, we should not be each other's enemy. We should have nothing but love in our hearts for each other. Like, I just don't get it. And those same people that are doing those killings are probably the same people that were marching in those Black Lives Matter marches or the marches for when George Floyd died, but you're no better than the police officers. You're no better than the white people that are killing the black people. You're no better. You're no better than Breonna Taylor's killers because you're over here killing your fellow brother, black brother or sister. Like you're no better than those cops because you're doing the same thing. It may be for a different, purpose because you think that the reason that you're doing it for it makes sense even though it doesn't but you're no better than them and like people have to come to the realization that you have to have love in your heart you have to have love in your heart because these like people nowadays have nothing but hatred for people and that really needs to change my next unpopular opinion is that some youtubers are so whack and what I have like, I have many different meanings when I say that. What I mean by that is like, my first point, some YouTubers like stay consistent and stay consistent. And then I'm sorry that my computer keeps sounding off, but I keep getting messages. But anyways, some YouTubers, they stay so consistent. And then once they get to where they want it to be, like if they wanted to, like if their goal was 100,000 subscribers, once they get to 100,000 subscribers, then they stop posting consistently. And it's just like, don't get where you want to be and then you just completely fall off. It's like, clearly you just wanted that milestone and now since you got there, then that's it. Also, I just like YouTube, especially YouTube, not even especially, YouTube couples. That's it. YouTube couples, I just feel like they're so whack. Like, I used to like, well, I do still like a YouTube couple called Janae and Derek. I still like them, but like other, because I like them because they keep it real as far as I know. But um, other YouTube couples, I just feel like they're so whack. I just feel like there's no originality. And it's like, once there's a trend, they obviously hop on the trend, but it's like no YouTubers actually try to be, no couple YouTubers seem like they try to be original. It's like they just hop on the next prank or the next challenge that somebody else created. Like where are, where is their originality? And I feel like they don't grow as much anymore because everybody's like tired of it. And like the ones that are growing, it's the ones that already established like a big fan base so and my last unpopular opinion might get some people mad but guess what I don't care my next unpopular opinion is believing in the universe is stupid stupid and what I mean by that is those people that are like oh, 
I believe in the universe and the universe is doing this for me and blah 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 like you sound like an idiot well just to be blunt just to be like straight to the point you sound like an idiot like you're telling me right now the universe is waking you up every day the universe is protecting you the universe is keeping you safe like no honey no the universe is not protecting you the universe is not keeping you safe the universe did not wake you up this morning the universe did not provide for you the universe did not make sure that you have a roof over your head the universe did not give man the ideas that man had you know who did that god did that because that is who everybody should believe in god everybody should believe in god and jesus christ okay because they are the ones that are waking us up in the morning providing for us keeping us safe protecting us giving man ideas to do great things it's god yes they really are the way the truth and the light so this is the end of the video i look a mess but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye